what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can perform an in-place upgrade on Windows 10 now these are the things you want to check first make sure you unplug all your external peripherals except your mouse and keyboard make sure you are using an Ethernet connection and not Wi-Fi because this can uh, drop out if you're using Wi-Fi uh, also disable or uninstall any third party antivirus software this will stop it from having any sort of issues or interfering with the update process and make sure you back up all your data before continuing with a windows update now we want to go over to the microsoft website here and you can see you can use the upgrade assistant here or update assistant you can use that and uh, that will also update you as well but we're going to be using the windows uh, creation tool here to upgrade our system now sometimes upgrading it this way is a lot easier than using the windows update now if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification button to be notified when we upload new videos every day and as you can see here what we're going to do is download this and then we're going to install it and do the upgrade process uh, from here now big upgrades like uh, the spring edition or april 2018 which is your 1803 update now the 1803 uh, update is quite a large update and uh, if you're using a laptop and you're using a wi-fi connection sometimes what can happen is it will drop out the connection halfway through and it will just freeze and stop downloading so that's why you want to probably use an ethernet connection it's a lot more easier uh, to update uh, these larger updates uh, for windows so what we're going to do is install uh, the creation tool here and say yes to the user account control and let that uh, populate it will come up on the screen and then all you need to do here is let that go through its uh, checks it's just checking a few things here now also we're just going to accept their terms and conditions and you can see now we have the option to upgrade this pc now this will give it the latest uh, upgrade okay so i'm going to click next and it will go through the process of uh, checking and downloading uh, the latest update onto your system so once that's done it will verify your download and then what it will do is it will start to create the Windows 10 media now this is going to take a bit of time but I'll skip through some of these processes you won't miss anything but I'll just make it a bit quicker for you to see the installation process it's a lot more easier that way so what it will do is it will shut down and then it will start to prepare uh, the update uh, process here there we go and it will open up again and it will start to get your updates ready and it will check for more updates now what will happen is it will probably need to reboot the computer a few times during this process so just uh, let it do its thing now we need to accept their terms and conditions again it will do a couple of more checks for updates and it will go ahead and then start uh, to allow us to choose what we want to uh, keep or uh, discard so let that all finish and let it get to the next thing so here we go we're ready to install now you can see install windows 10 pro gives you the option to keep your personal files and apps you can also click on the change options here and you can see there's a bunch of other options here which you can change like keep personal files only or keep nothing and it will do a fresh install so it's entirely up to you what you want to do here but generally the first first option there the top one is what normally happens when you're updating uh, windows 10 so what that's going to do is make sure you're ready to install this will check to see if there's uh, enough space on the drive and of course you've still got another option here to change uh, what you want to keep once you click continue here you will then get the uh, pop-up screen here saying install in windows 10 this is pretty normal just be patient and let that install it will take a bit of time now if you get a black screen or anything like that don't shut the computer down leave it running sometimes it takes a fair bit of time for it to install it depends on the speed of your computer uh, but you will then get this blue screen popping up saying working on updates so be patient and don't shut your computer down just leave it running okay so once that's finished uh, downloading all those it will start to get uh, the updates ready for your pc to install on the system and you can see it's preparing all this for us now so it may take a few minutes for this to uh, complete so just let it do its thing you can see here now it's letting us choose some of the options that you can either opt in or opt out of i'm going to opt out of most of these you can see location here i'm not interested in that but you can choose whatever you like here so find my device so i might say yes 
accept that um, for myself there. And you can see here, send diagnostic data to Microsoft. You can see I'm going to select basic here. And of course, uh, improve inking and typing recognition. I'm going to say no. And you can choose whatever options you like here, but I'm just going to get uh, no for a lot of these here. Let apps use uh, advertising ID. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to opt out of that one as well. And that's pretty much it. It will then get you to your desktop and hopefully your computer will be exactly the same as it was uh, when you started the upgrade process uh, to the latest version of Windows 10. And it's always advisable to uh, keep updated to fix any security holes or anything like that with the operating system. And also there is people that are saying that after they've upgraded, they've had other issues. But you can see here now we are running version 1803. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's how you can perform an in-place upgrade on Windows 10. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one helps you out. And uh, don't forget, drop us a like on the video. Thanks again. Bye for now. now. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.